how are we all? I hope you're all well. So the countdown is on to the daily edit, which is what I'm gonna be doing on my channel for the whole of March. There is gonna be a brand new video every single day at 6 p.m. So make sure you've like turned on that little bell thing or you subscribe so you don't miss anything. That is coming very soon. I'm in full on like preparation mode for it now. Bring it on, however, Today's video is going to be a little revisited version of something that I did back in January and you guys really liked. So I think it's gonna be something that I do a little bit more on this channel. Um, but on the day that you see this video, I will actually be in Amsterdam. And we have friends out there, so we go and visit a couple of times a year, but I tacked on an extra day to our holiday so that I could do a book event. So I'm doing an edited life book signing event in Amsterdam tonight, which is just like, blowing my mind, it's so, so cool. It's gonna be at the American Book Center. It is a ticketed event, and I have a feeling that most of the tickets are gone. However, I'll link it down below. If there's any left, I will pop like the latest update in the description box down below for you, but I cannot wait. My friend Flora is gonna be the person like hosting the event and chairing the event and asking me the questions, and it's just gonna be so, so fun. But if you can't come, I will sign all of the stock they have, so hopefully there'll be some signed books hanging around in Amsterdam for you. Cannot wait. But seeing as I'm on the move again and packing everything into just like a cabin bag suitcase again, I thought I would revisit the 10 by 10 challenge that I did back in January. And you guys seem to really like it. You've asked for more. Um, you've asked me to do them seasonally, which I think is a really cool idea. And I thought I would just do them like whenever I'm traveling, it makes sense. I'm packing anywhere. Might as well show you what's going into my suitcase. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my 10 by 10 challenge and also pack it into my suitcase at the end so you can see how I fit it all in. Somebody also emailed me and asked me for an occasion wear 10 by 10 wardrobe. She said she's got so many weddings to go to in May and I was like, yes. That is genius, so that will be coming a little bit later on in the next couple of months as well. But let me know if you have any like specific requests for 10 by 10s that you wanna see. Um, but I thought today I would do my 10 by 10 for Amsterdam. And if you've got absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, I will link my last video up here for you, which explains the 10 by 10 challenge in a little bit more depth the origins of it, the creators of it, and actually how to make your own 10 by 10 wardrobe. But the idea is 10 items into 10 outfits. It's so good for just like challenging yourself if you don't wanna buy anything new and you just wanna make some new outfits out of things you've already got in your wardrobe and it's incredible for travel. Um, you guys asked for feedback on my last one and whether I liked it and enjoyed it and wore every single outfit and I did. I wore every single outfit aside from the two extras because I actually only needed eight outfits but I'd made 10 and it was just so good. You just don't even have to think. It's like your outfit for the day is just already there and ready to go and I'm hoping that it's going to be exactly the same in Amsterdam. Amsterdam's going to be a little bit chillier than when I went away in January, I have a feeling. Um, so I've accounted for that. I've mixed up my formula a little bit. Um, I will talk you through that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk you through the 10 items, the kind of additional items that I have, and then also to show you the 10 outfits that I've made and how I pack them in my suitcase as well. So let's talk through the additional items first. So there's a couple of things that I need, but I'm not including them in the 10 by 10 just because you need a little bit more variety and these items are gonna stay the same for every single outfit. So I've got a black scarf. This is Acne Studios, like last time. Like I said, it's lovely, it's soft, it's wonderful. You do not need an Acne Studio scarf. And the stories do really good jeeps, which are very, very similar. And then this time around, I'm bringing my Celine Trio bag. Uh, last time I bought the Loewe puzzle bag, which is beautiful, but I haven't worked out how to fold it flat. I think it does fold flat. I personally haven't worked it out, whereas this is just a little bit easier to like pack in my suitcase and it is a trio pouch, like it genuinely has like three pouches so you can fit so much stuff in there. So I thought I'd bring this with me this time. And then also coat wise, I'm bringing a different Whistles coat this time. This is just a tan, like long, almost like a trench style coat, but very, very thick, very warm. It'll go with everything that I've got on the rail here. And yeah, I just absolutely 
love this jacket. I love the black pea coat I've got from them too, but I thought to change it up a bit this time, we'll go for the tan. The other extras that I'll be bringing are two pairs of tights. Um, I treated myself to some heist studio ones. I've seen everyone talk about them. They come up really high, like I am all about that, like tucking in the belly life. They haven't actually arrived yet. So in the clips you'll see, I'm just wearing like an MS pair. And then also just like jewelry and earrings and necklaces. And um, I bought myself some new necklaces from Daisy. I am loving these. And um, yeah, I've got some like Miss and my earrings, some more necklaces that I'll bring just to like jazz things up, probably bring a red lip with me. And then I can always do like nude lip, hair down, hair up, red lip options, you know? Onto the 10 items and let's have a chat about shoes first. Very exciting topic. Um, I did exactly what I did last time and bought two pairs and I bought more of like a during the day shoe and then more of an evening shoe. They're actually very similar. They're both Chelsea boots. These are the Acme Jensen um, leather boots. They're just like a pointy ankle Chelsea boot. Not very comfortable when you first buy them. Um, I think I've had them now for two years, possibly even three. Now they're like wearing slippers. And these are like a furry pair of slightly more heeled boots. Uh, these are from Whistles. I absolutely adore them. Again, I think I've had these for two or three years. Um, they're just absolutely wonderful. Although they do have a slight heel on them. And um, it's not really much bigger than the Acne pair. And they're both very easy to wear during the day if I do decide to wear whatever one I fancy um, and they just will go with everything here. And I thought leopard print ones are fun, especially there's a lot of black in this little miniature capsule. Um, so I thought these will be really good at like jazzing things up. I think this is the same as last time as well. I've done two pairs of jeans. Um, if these look a little bit wrinkly in the outfit cutaways later on, it's because they're pretty wet. Um, I was like, oh no, I've just put them in the wash. I've tried to dry them on the uh, dehumidifier, uh, but they are pretty wet. So putting these on, is gonna be real fun later on, um, but they're from Redone. They're exactly the same style, just in different washes. They are called the Stove Pipe Jeans. They're like a straight leg, raw hem at the bottom, a button fly. They definitely stretch, so size down in them, but I really love the fit of them. I love the cut of them. I love the washes of them. They're extremely pricey, so I will link dupes down below for you. Are they worth the price tag? No, probably not, but I just thought I'd take one for the team and like test them out, you know? So last time round, I took two shirts with me um, and shirts are just my default when I've got like an event, I'll just wear like really nice shirt and some jeans and some boots. And because I've only got one event this time, I thought I would just bring one shirt with me because I guess all the other times we're gonna be going out are just like restaurants in the evening or going around our friend's house for dinner. And I don't mind wearing like a jumper then and being a little bit more casual and cozy and more importantly, warm, because it's gonna be freezing. So I thought I would bring this, it is from a Equipment. I think it was called their Kira shirt. I got this maybe about two years ago. Genuinely one of my favorite shirts that I own. I just love that it looks like pajamas. And when I first got it, I went out for a birthday meal of one of my friends and a family member of hers sat in front of me who I didn't know, I'd never met before. This lady was quite drunk and she was like, you look like you're wearing your pajamas. And I was like, yes lady, thank you ma'am, yes. I do, and I absolutely love it. So whenever I wear it, it like reminds me of that moment. Um, but just a very versatile piece that I can like layer or dress up or dress down. Last time round, I only bought one chunky knit with me, um, which was kind of perfectly fine because a lot of the time I was traveling in like quite stuffy hot trains um, or I was just inside. I wasn't really out and about that much. But I feel like in Amsterdam, we do so much walking. We're always out and about, always kind of like, walking from place to place or just wandering around. So I thought that maybe two chunky knits could be handy. Not so fab to pack, um, but like we can work with it, it's cool. Like I can sit on my case. I've got the Demi Lee, I think this was called the New England Jumper. I picked this up when I was in New York one time from a little boutique there called Bird. Lily's always amazed at like how quickly I make a buying decision. I'm like, yep, yeah, I tried it on. I was like, yep, yeah, this is it. She was like, oh my, oh my word, that took you like two minutes. But I am so happy that I picked this up. I've had so much wear out of it in the like year and a half that I've had this. And then this is from And Other Stories. This is just like a big, roll neck, so cozy. It's normally something that I wear in more of like a lounge weary way. Like I'll wear it with leggings whilst I'm just like working at home. Um, but it's just too cozy not to take with me. I feel like if we're having a really 
slouchy evening in or even just like wearing this out i love wearing this with the high neck with like an all black outfit um i just think that is super chic like last time i've gone for two thin knits so what i did was swap out one of my shirts for a chunky knit but i've kept the amount of tops the same um so these are just like a thinner exactly what i've just said a thin knit um so they're not so chunky they're not so difficult to travel with and like roll up um but also they're not so bulky under outfits as well so they're really good for layering i could wear this under a chunky knit if it was ridiculously freezing. Um, this one is from Equipment. This is just one of their Sloan cashmere jumpers. And um, I think I spoke about the black one that I have in the last video. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what my favorite outfit was from my last video, it was the black Equipment cashmere jumper with the Topshop skirt. So unexpected, definitely like the most out there choice for me, but I loved it that outfit so 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 much um so there you go in case you're wondering um i think i mentioned in that video that these are extremely pricey but they are the best cashmere jumpers that i've tried and i've tried a few they have lasted so well and i wore the black one to my event i think in nottingham and people were hugging me and they were like oh my word you're so soft and i was like is this jumper is literally like teddy bear soft and then this is from and other stories this again is a cashmere jumper probably isn't coming up on the screen but it's more of like a bottle green um and it's sort of it's not a thin thin knit but it's also not a chunky knit i thought this would just be a good one to like keep me warm and i also love the color then finally piece number 10 um like last time i've gone for something a little bit off piste i think that's kind of the fun thing to do is to throw something a little bit more off piste in there and this might not be off piece for a lot of people it's just a and um, this is from topshop i think it was just like a pu pleather um kind of mini skirt um but i just don't find myself wearing it that often i really like it but I just never wear it. So I think this is a really good idea to throw in something that is a bit unloved in your wardrobe. It will encourage you to find new ways of wearing it. And also because you're away from home, you've literally got 10 items, you kind of have to wear it. But I like that. I like that you're just put in a position where you're like, hey, I have to wear it, I have to rock it. Let's see how I can make this work. So that's why I bought some tights um, to wear with this. I'm just picturing in my head like the and other stories, big like chunky knit with this and then tights and then my Jensen boots. I really like the sound of that outfit. So yeah, this is my out there choice, but last time my out there choice ended up being part of my favorite outfit out of the bunch. So who knows? Outfit number one for traveling to Amsterdam and I am wearing all the clothes. There you go. Top travel tip, just wear your whole capsule wardrobe on the plane. Don't need to worry about fitting in your bag. I'm joking, of course. Um, actually, all I've got on is the Anna the Stories cashmere jumper, which isn't the chunkiest knit that I have, um, but it is still like pretty hefty, so it's a good one to wear on the flight. Then I've got the Acne Studio scarf, Whistles coat, Celine bag, the Acne Jensen boots, which are so comfortable, so really good if you're like dashing around in an airport terminal, and then the redone jeans, um, which are actually quite comfortable, so completely fine to fly in, and actually the flight is like 45 minutes, so that is brilliant. So this is outfit number two, which is what I think I'm gonna wear to the event in Amsterdam. Um, I wore this to the event in, ooh, oh, actually the first event that I did, the event that I did in London. I wore it with blue jeans and heels, and I just really loved how it looked in all the photos, and I was just like, oh, it was actually, really comfortable as well. Um, so I'm gonna wear this, it's the Demi jumper with the redone jeans, with the um, Whistles leopard print boots. I feel like this is a very me outfit. I think people be like, oh look, it's Anna, she's wearing what she always wears. Um, but it's me, <laughs> I love it. I love these jeans, I mean I love this jumper and the boots, they've been in my wardrobe for a very long time. Um, I would wear this skirt but I'm probably going to be like sitting on stage and I don't want to feel like uncomfortable at all so I feel like this is a very presentable outfit for the event. This is outfit number three for like Thursday during the day in Amsterdam so I've got on the equipment cashmere jumper. I could always pop on the um, like equipment silk blouse under Underneath. If I needed a bit of extra warmth, I will obviously be wearing my coat over the top of this. And then I've just got the scarf, the bag, the redone black jeans, and then the acne Jensen boots. Actually, a word on refreshing items between wears, because lots of people were like, I'd love to do that. Items of clothing can get really grim really quickly. Um, I treated myself to a steamery, like clothing steamer. Um, I'll show you in the packing bit uh, after I've done all the outfits, and it is so good. It works really well at not only getting rid of like creases and things just looking a bit like crumpled from being in your suitcase, it actually works really well to like freshen up between wears if you can't 
obviously deep wash it, which you will do when you return home, um, but that was a really, really good tip that someone gave me ages ago. Fabric steamers are incredible. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking for outfit number four, which will be like an evening, night out, if we're going out for dinner or going around our friend's house for dinner. Um, yeah, I like this, like, head to toe black is my comfort zone, even though it's a skirt, which isn't in my current comfort zone. Um, I really, really love this. I love the high neck on this and other stories. I love that my hair kind of like tucks in and comes a little bit out at the side. Um, even the accessories are black, the shoes are black. I'd obviously wear my tan jacket over the top. Um, but yeah, I really, I like this. I like this outfit. A lot. I feel like this could be a very good like winter going out out outfit for me. Do people go out out in chunky knits? Probably not. <laughs> this is outfit number five for Friday in Amsterdam and I just love this coat so much. Any excuse to wear this coat, I mean I'll be wearing this coat every day that I'm there but I particularly like it with this outfit. I think it looks really nice with the shoes. Um, I've just been so into my Topshop snakeskin boots that I have that these have been a little bit more unloved than they usually are during the winter so it's really nice to like crack them back out and they are so 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 comfortable as well and then I've just got the green and other stories cashmere jumper underneath with the redone black jeans so I think it's quite nice to have a bit of green just kind of breaks up a little bit it's not a super obvious green but it's definitely there it's not black <laughs> so this is outfit number six um for friday night in amsterdam so i've got the silk shirt on redone jeans and the whistles leopard print boots and then this is the great thing about the celine pouch is that you can actually take off one whole pouch off of the front and have it as a clutch which i just think is so cute so you can wear it across body over the shoulder or you can whip off a pouch for <laughs> for a clutch. That sounds weird. Um, obviously, I will be wearing something chunky over the top of this, or I might take my thermal roll neck with me and pop that underneath, so I've got an extra layer. I'm not gonna be having like bare ass cleavage out if it's freezing, um, but yeah, I love these are two daisy necklaces that I got recently. One of them is from Estee's collection. This is just one that they normally have. Um, but yeah, I like that, like a bit of jewelry. Um, I think it's really nice and it's, it's quite black. Of course I love it. <laughs> All black outfit alert, yes, again, um, this is outfit seven for Saturday in Amsterdam during the day. Um, obviously I'll be wearing like my scarf and my tan jacket over the top, but if we go to any museums or something and take my jacket off, this is what it will look like. But I love all of these items separately, but I love them all together. And these jeans are just everything. Currently very damp, not too fun to wear. I put tights on underneath as an insulative layer. I'm quite pleased that I did, um, but I like them with these boots. And um, you don't get too much ankle, which is quite nice. Um, makes them quite a good winter jean because, you know, you don't want the wind blowing around your ankles. So this is outfit number eight that I'm thinking of wearing to go like out on Saturday night in Amsterdam. And it's the skirt again. See, I like this skirt. Like, why do I not wear it? More often it's just the skirt, the tights, um, Acne Jensen boots, the Demi Lee like chunky knit jumper. I thought because I'm wearing the skirt and um, I could do something really chunky on top and then I'm just wearing all my little extra bits, my bag, my coat, my scarf. I feel like this like looks cute. Like it makes me want to wear the skirt more often. Like why, why the hell not? Uniana loved skirts. This is outfit number nine, which is for traveling back from Amsterdam. Um, just something really comfy, really cozy. I could always layer um, something underneath this if I was like struggling to fit everything back into my suitcase, although I will show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, just a very casual, easy outfit. Um, just the and other stories, big chunky knit, redone jeans, acne Jensen boots, and then the bag, and then obviously coat over the top, scarf over the top of that because that is definitely not going to fit all in my suitcase and then yeah traveling home then this is outfit number 10 the final outfit which i actually don't have a use for this is just like an extra outfit something goes wrong i spill something down one of the items that i bought with me this is like okay backup if i need an extra outfit this is what i plan to wear i just caught a look of myself in the mirror and i was like oh where am i going like i j this is what i would wear all the time I was like, oh, I got confused. I thought I wasn't filming a video. I thought I was like dashing out somewhere to do so because this is definitely what I would wear. Um, it's just the Whistles coat, Celine bag. I mean, you know this by now. Whistles shoes, redone. These are the blue jeans this time and then just the Demi Lee chunky knit. Um, but yeah, this could be the most like me outfit out of 
all of them. <laughs> so this is my cabin bag that I kind of keep partially packed. Um, I keep all of my beauty bits kind of packed in here so they're just ready to go. Um, and I just replenish them whenever I come back from a trip. So this is more of my beauty and electricals. Um, that isn't properly packed yet, but I did want to show you this. Um, Lily bought me the fabric debobbler from this brand. Um, I think they're called Steamery. Yeah, steamery. And then I can't remember who was talking about this. I have a feeling it was either Sam or Nick. Um, it was one of the Pixie Roo girls. And they were just saying how incredible this is. Um, so I ordered it online and it is so much better than the steamer that I originally had. The one that I had was like a tenner off of Amazon. Like it, t it totally did the trick, but it wasn't the best piece of kit I've ever bought. But this is like a steamer slash iron totally incredible wouldn't say it's the most um travel friendly it is quite heavy and it is quite large um but it is very handy um my tip is that whenever you're packing your suitcase pack your clothing on one side and then other bits on the other and if your suitcase has like a compression system like this like the idea is that you put the straps around and then tighten the straps and you can compress all of your clothing on this side and hopefully fit a little bit more in than you would be able to if you didn't have that and um, it works really really well because i've got some chunky knits i'm actually going to put those in first with my shoes this case actually has a little um bag that you can put your washing or bits and bobs in like a little waterproof bag so i'm actually going to pop my shoes in here they sort of go on the bottom now because these chunky knits are so massive like i said i'm not going to roll them i'm actually just going to place them and kind of fold them so there's one in there's the other one on top it looks like you'll be able to fit nothing else in but let me tell you this compression system actually works really well so all of the other clothing items that i've got i'm just going to roll up and kind of fit in any spare spots i can find so this is the skirt i've just given that a little roll obviously i haven't included the outfit that i'll be wearing to the airport so these are all just the extra bits so i think this is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items of clothing because I'm wearing three bits to the airport. This is the equipment silk shirt. And again, I'm just tucking that down the side. This equipment cashmere jumper is actually pretty tiny. Um, so yeah, I'm just rolling that and again, pushing that into the side. And then my jeans, um, they're quite big as well. So actually I'm just gonna fold them and hopefully we'll be able to uh, compress this down slightly. This is the fun bit, you kind of press down, that's it, give it a bit of compression. And it all fits in, easy peasy, you can very easily pop this on top, do it up. I've just got to put my electricals and a couple of other bits and uh, yeah, good to go. So that is everything, my 10 by 10 Amsterdam wardrobe, the 10 outfits I've created with those items and also how I would pack it into a suitcase. So hope you enjoyed that little like suitcase add on at the end, I just love packing videos. <laughs> like I would make packing videos every day if I could. The packing edit, there you go, that's my new channel. Like I said, I will link all the Amsterdam event details down below. If there are any tickets left, grab one. I would love to see you tonight, um, but yeah. That is it, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If this video quality has been in like 10% of the usual quality, then this camera is seriously incredible because it's so dark right now, I haven't got any lights on and it looks okay. Um, so that is great, hopefully you've been able to actually see me. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back Sunday, fingers crossed, um, if I can find decent Wi-Fi somewhere, because I'm gonna vlog today and hopefully have an Amsterdam vlog up for you on Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. I will see you very soon. Have a good rest of the week. See you then, bye.